everybody it's the coach this is the nfl on ea sports coming up we've got a good one on tap between the dallas cowboys and the new york giants with that let's get up to metlife stadium in new jersey standing by for the call here are brandon godden and charles davis all right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This is the scene just before we came on air. This New York crowd fired up by the arrival of their G-men as they burst from the locker room. They're ready to go as the Giants get set to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon Garden, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Touchdown, Cowboys! He goes 102 yards from one end zone to the other as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. So how about that? You want to talk about coming into a hostile environment and just silencing the crowd. They just did it. Couldn't be a better start. There's no way. All week long, they've talked about having this type of a start, but I think they looked at it from the offensive team's perspective. You know, get the opening kickoff. You guys control the ball. A lot of people are now going to say, okay, now your offense, will they be out of whack? No, not at all. They're going to be absolutely happy. They're relaxed. They took care of business for them. They don't have any pressure now. They can just go play. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. So how about that for an intriguing start? The opening kickoff of the ball game, return for a touchdown. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the veteran quarterback, a multiple-time pro bowler. It's, of course, Eli Manning. I still remember a scouting report that a former Giants GM had on Eli Manning coming out of Mississippi. He simply said he has it. And we always talk about the it factor, which means they're going to play large in big moments, in key situations, and Eli Manning has always had that. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. But it's going to be second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Faking the give to Barkley, now Manning. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Third and long for the Giants and Eli following the sack. Shotgun now for Manning. And a pressure. 
pressure gets to him again. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his second sack of the afternoon. It felt like he was in the pocket all day, never got rid of it. And when you have that much time, you've got to either find someone open or get rid of it because with that amount of time to throw the ball, that means the offensive line's done a really nice job. Sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down after a huge return there. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and ten on the short side of the field. So here come the Cowboys out of the field with excellent position to get things started. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. And that's really good field position they were given. Now, nothing's a gimme, we know that, but I know his goal, have the field goal kicker just stay on the bench. They wanna put it in the end zone and get six out of this one. If they don't, I think it'll feel like a disappointment. Now a carry for the big fella. This is Jermaine's Olawale. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Tackle made by Antoine Bethay. And on this offensive unit, your thoughts on Travis Frederick? He's a quarterback's best friend. Sets all the line calls and blocks so aggressively. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo. And, and he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. 24 yards. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt and then you go down and score. And you've got to see a fist pump on the sideline from the head coach, don't you? Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The drive there only spanning three plays. And a long run there in the end to top it off. <laughs> Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Let's go. And New York set to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically, those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Partner, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. He only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. Demarcus Lawrence getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here to be sacked. 
sack 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Normally when you see a short gain in the middle of a 3-4 defense, go ahead and pat the nose tackle on the back because he's holding things up and taking on extra blockers, which allows one of the inside linebackers to roam free and make the tackle. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. They go play action here on first down. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Big yardage after the catch. That one winds up going for 36. A first down carry by Elliott. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They've moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term. They just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Mar now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. So the drive there, five plays, 80 yards. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And our players spotlight now as we turn our attention to Eli Manning. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help them. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Off the edge, it's Tyrone Crawford with a sack. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Here's Manning to throw. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Demarcus Lawrence, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try to get some space. Now Manning, it's complete to Golden Tate. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. 
And they will get to this one and down it at the 13-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Looking to throw. Prescott eluding the pressure right. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll run with Elliott. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Escaping the pressure right. Looking deep, and the that's caught inside the 20. And he's able to get this down deep on the giant side of the field. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 43 yards. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far is working pretty well from them. But here's the best part. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing, and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it, it's scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over it. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And New York set to take the field. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. But they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. They fake the handoff. Now Manning. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a first and 10. A first down carry for Barkley. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. On second down, here's Barkley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it third and 13. On third and long, it's Manning. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. Sean Lee, the longtime vet, getting in and getting to the QB. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Here's Riley Dixon now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. 
This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. Just what you want on a first down run. And call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice side. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys continue to pour it on. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on, just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Point by Mar up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And New York set to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Cody Latimer, the intended receiver but it'll be second down Manning gonna hand it off to Barkley and up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down 13 yards good for a giant first down Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The veteran safety, George Iloka, there to break that one up. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. To throw, it's Manning. And this is going to be incomplete. So they look like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Zeke and the Cowboys ready to begin their next drive. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. But go ahead and give him the hat trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and do that. But let's be honest about it. That third one, 
That's the most spectacular run he's had in the ball game. It's almost as if he's been playing his own game of, can I top this? And each run has been more spectacular than the last. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit, maybe featuring other people touching it for a while, and then you've got a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Well, still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. On second down now, Barkley. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. The Giants on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. This will be third and five. To throw is Manning. And now the ball comes out. Manning lost it. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. Or that could have been trouble. But that was a big oops right there. But how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football, able to get it back himself. Now pounce right back on it, keeps possession. Here's Austin. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Now Dak Prescott of the offense heading back onto the field. I'm sure he wanted to have a huge game, wants to have a huge game as the quarterback, but really on the ground, they've been very, very hard to stop. Maybe you just keep going to that well. I think so. And isn't it funny how the definition of balance changes for us from game to game? Sometimes it's 50-50, run it, throw it. Sometimes it's just being a balanced running team in terms of who's carrying yeah, the football. Not more than one guy. Right, multiple guys out there. And now your guy back there has to throw it. Doesn't have to worry about it quite as much. And they've got the lead here in the second quarter. Prescott now. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Connects here with a tight end, Blake Jarwin. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott, and an alley to run. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. To throw on second and six, Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Blake Jarwin there to make the grab as his guys continue to pour it on. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Marr on for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. A drive that time of six plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
And New York set to take the field. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now Saquon Barkley, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it's going to be third down and a ways to go here, third and 14. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And this will be covered up. Pretty good result. It'll be down at the 14-yard line. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. Yeah, they have had success on the ground, really as a team, doing well carrying the football. So maybe a little less pressure on his shoulders as the quarterback. Any pressure he's carrying right now, that's self-inflicted, right? He's taking it on. He doesn't need to. Continue to do what you just said. Let everyone else carry the football. That's been effective. Don't have to worry about him throwing the ball in all the situations now. That's got to be a good feeling if he just relaxes and lets it keep coming to him. Yeah, and relax and enjoy the second quarter of the lead right now. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. They'll run on first down. Elliott. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second down, it's Elliott. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Now Prescott. And that's one of the ones you like to blitz even on rundowns. That's caught inside the 20. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott in the final seconds of the first half as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And a big mistake on the return. He's out of bounds at his own one-yard line.
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Manning to Barkley on the draw play. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one, maybe not the hard-fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far. But still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen as we send you right back out.